Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup where the Cast and Comets are playing host to the Laville Lancers on this really warm fall evening. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined here in the booth by Alex Korn. How are you yep. doing tonight, Alex? Not too bad. Like you said, it's a little bit warm. It, it Sweat, is. Sweating on the way in. I'm glad I'm not wearing a bunch of pads yeah, tonight. No kidding. It was just cold and rainy a couple weeks ago up at Triton, and here oh, we yeah, are back into the mid-80s. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot nicer of a week, though, than last week mm -hmm. through the course. Able to get outside and practice and not have to run indoors. Oh, yeah, running indoors was <laughs> terrible. And, you know, I know uh, talking to Coach Slocum, he uh, the, the guys were just struggling to get some of their mm -hmm. the work they needed to get done right. done last week. So this week they've been able to be outside all week. And, of course, LaVille has had the same advantage, I'm sure. So. Yep, yep. And, uh, of course, going into this, LaVille is two-way this year. They got bumped up, and uh, they're good. <laughs> they're a pretty good team. They were uh, catching fire last season, and then they just keep rolling into this year, and they played Pioneer Tough a couple weeks ago. So they're a, they're a contender at two-way, I believe. Right. Well, and uh, I remember last year, of course, we were at LaVille. Facing the sun. Facing the sun. <laughs> and... Uh, I just I remember there was a couple of hard tackles. Uh, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact, I got a uh, text from a fan through the course of that broadcast because I said something about a Sam Smith shaped divot in the field. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but that was also the one where uh, Pete or not Pete, no Sam Duvall got a hold of the football and Squ took it all the way in for a touchdown. No, that was Culver. Was that Culver? That was I, that Culver? I could have sworn that was a Laville. Yep. Yep. Well, hey, once again, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to tonight's broadcast where I will be wrong frequently. <laughs> so it uh, looks like LaVille is receiving here in the first half. Mm -hmm. We have Tim Lee kicking off. It was Sam Smith last week, but when you're low on numbers, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, uh, and I know a couple of guys came out of that uh, game last week with... Uh, Some bumps and bruises. Bumps and bruises, and... Uh, so we'll see how they how they do this week. That was the kicker, Tim Lee, with the tackle. Stopped on uh, LaVille's own 40-yard yep. line. That's a pretty decent Now, play. if I remember correctly, LaVille runs a wing tee and a shotgun wing tee. As you see here, he's getting set number 10. I believe he's a junior here for LaVille. He's a pretty good quarterback, getting set in the gun. And they have a tight end wing. They're gonna throw the bubble pass. And Caden Webb stopping that really quickly, yeah. just in front of the line of scrimmage. Playing it tough. LaVille gets about tough three out of that one. I didn't think they quite got three, but you know, the yard marker says that. Yep. Incorrect on that. That's all right. See, tonight's not homecoming, is it, for the Comets? No, uh, Comets homecoming is in two weeks. Two weeks against Culver? Against Culver. So we here have the outside sweep play. That's uh, Kobe Watts with that carry. Gets about 13 yards into Comets territory. Mm -hmm. See, he's a senior. I count nine seniors here for LaVille. That's nearly a full line. <laughs> and speaking of full line, once again, the Comets only have six helmets over here on the sideline, mm -hmm. so we had a neutral zone infraction there. You showed me the, uh, the spread here for this game on John Harrell, yeah. John Harrell, um, 49 to 10, I believe, in favor of LaVille. The, the way they're moving that football, mm -hmm. it looks like we're gonna have an, an early score on this. Uh, hopefully, though, the, the Comets are gonna be able to rally. Of course, mm -hmm. you don't wanna give up, you don't wanna give away five yards at a time either. Right. Snap, fakes a handoff. That's Doyle, quarterback. And no, and looks like Jesse might be able to catch him. Nope. Nope, he's going to be in the All end All the way. 
So LaVille here is going to take a quick 6 to nothing lead. Yeah, just not even quite a minute and a half into the game. Now what I don't remember is, do they go for two or do they have a kicker? Well, it looks like they're sending a kicker out there. Guess we'll know if we ha they have a kicker <laughs> here real quick. That's number four, Leighton Zarnecki. Uh, Zarnecki. Zarnecki. It's listed here as tight end and defensive back. You know, and I feel like I remember that Zarnecki name from basketball season too. Well, he looks like he's fairly he's, tall. He's got an athletic build. We got an offside here by the Comets. Quick to jump the gun. Trying to get to that kicker. I heard a rumor that uh, blocking kicks was uh, incentivized this week at practice. I don't know mm. if it's. I don't know if that's true or not. <clears throat> so, and is that a half distance goal line with yep. the line of scrimmage on that one then? Yep. So they moved him up a yard. Oh, he has a leg on him, that's for sure. I guess that answers the question we asked a little while ago. Mm -hmm. Yep, they've got a kicker. Comet's now out to an early disadvantage. Coach Slocum's talking to the kids, getting his offensive game plan set up. So I imagine number four will be kicking off here again for Laville. We'll have Smith and, is that Jesse? Back deep to return. It looks like it is. Smith and Rockwolf. We've got, uh, Shane Lobb and Landon. Brault. No, Brault. Brault. There oh. in the midfield. Landon's number four, that's right. <clears throat> and four, we've got Allison McGrew out there. Hickle. All three of them, it looks like. Oh, that's, that's yeah. a boot. Yep. <laughs> Smart play not yep. going after yep. that one. See, and he's just a junior. He might have a, a long career in kicking if the that right was, scouts look at him. That was. Of course, it's uh, there is no wind out here tonight. Yep. yep. <laughs> give it another 20 minutes. The sun will be down. Oh, I thought you say give it another 20 minutes and the weather will change. <laughs> yeah. We're in Indiana. That's very likely. Here we have Landon in the gun. He Rock it off to Smith. Motion. Smith getting nice. about seven yards on about that. About nine. Boy, is that the LaVille coaching staff I hear? Not happy about nope. their line or their defensive line letting that many yards come by. Well, in the expectations, uh, state championship or bust, you know, you kind of <laughs> right. quick to hit the boiling point, it seems like. It's here again, Smith's in the gun with Schaefer. Needs to get handed off to Smith. Oh, Smith stopped at the line of yep. scrimmage and pushed backwards. I think he got the first down, though. <clears throat> They're waving to move the flag or sticks. That's a Comet's first down. Well, after these last couple of weeks, Alex, I, I feel like these guys have to come out here and get some down conversions. They've got to see some positive things yep. to uh, to keep their heads in the game. I've got to say, spirits have been good through the week. Yeah, well, you know, you can you can start seeing teams sometimes hanging their head, and, yep. and we've talked about that. With as much yep. of athletics as is mental, yep. they can't let that happen. Right. So. They're coming out here. They're fighting hard already, and it, and it's good to see as a yeah. Comets fan. 
What I'd like to see is a a long drive. Maybe you only need to get three yards of play. You know, oh, yeah. you just, just keep well, keep that, the drive. Don't let a little mistake right. slow you down. No interceptions. No fumbles. <laughs> that would be nice. And No snaps rolling on the ground. And just, you know, three, four yards at a time. Yep. Keep getting those first downs. And here we have a play stop. So it'll be a third and ten coming up. Yeah, Sam's a big guy, mm -hmm. but well-built guy. Yep. And uh, but when you just looking out here at this fr Laville front line, you get three or four of those guys carrying you. <laughs> see here, I see 76, Tyler Studden. <clears throat> of course, it doesn't have their height and weight on here, but he's probably got to be 250 or bigger. Oh yeah, he's he's. Oh, completed pass to Rockwolf. Unfortunately, it was behind the line of scrimmage. We're going to have a fourth and ten here, and it looks like Coach Slocum's bringing in the punt team. I think, and I could be wrong, I am frequently, but I think that, that was a play that fell apart and Schaefer making the most of what he had. Yeah. Um, it was so, a great pass to get it over the defender for Jesse to catch right. it. Well, and I've got to say that... Uh, at the end of my cross country practice, we were outside just, you know, fun day Friday because the kids are going to torture themselves tomorrow <laughs> on a cross country course. And uh, so we were, good punt there. We were out playing some Frisbee football and I saw quite a few of the Comets out there just doing some extra passing work, mm -hmm. working on those yep. disadvantaged uh, uh, snags, mm -hmm. single hands, those kind of ugly catches that look great when they're completed but get yep. bumbled most of the time and that's yep. exactly what they were working on and uh, I think it paid off right there. Yep. Unfortunately the guys couldn't convert on the downs but put the defense on the field yep. and see what comes of it. As LaVille starts off just a couple uh, <coughs> blades of grass past their 35 and here it's Doyle in the gun they're going to hand it off to number 21 Oh, and he's juking. Colby Watts. Nice tackle there by Caden Webb, but it looks like he might be called for a face mask or a horse collar. I see a lot of yellow flags, though, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I see him gesturing face mask. Wonder if it's a 5 or 15 yard face mask. Now it's 5. If he grabs it and then lets go, it's 15 if he grabs it and starts pulling him around. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that tackle happened quick enough. Looks uh, like they're getting looks 15. Looks like 15. So you're not allowed to do pull-ups off of the <laughs> face mask. Got it. That is discouraged. <laughs> so now again, two, two LaVille possessions in a row here Casson gives up a penalty and that's they've given up 25 yards of penalties so far yep. or no 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 20, 20 21 yep and that was number 24 Evan Betcher and that was Gavin Hickel with that stop Hickel of course wearing uh, a linesman lineman's 54 yep. is he still listed as a running back he is still listed as the fullback but he's uh He's on the line, and uh, he had to fill a spot. And I, well, and I, you know, he likes that uh, running back position. So mm -hmm. I think that every impact a Laville player will be paying for the fact that he's not wearing <laughs> his number forty. Yep. <clears throat> Here again, Doyle's in the gun. A little bit of a high snap. Gonna throw that bubble. Oh. That's number 31 there. Wow. <laughs> Connor Mangas took, uh, took took two or three tries to get him down. A lot of running around. But he picks up the first down. Well, I thought that Brault had him down there at the beginning. I think Brault thought that he had him mm. down. Of course, you, 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 can't, you can't let the tackle go until 
So you hear the, the whistle. Yeah, until the ref said, no, the play's over. We have Doyle back in the gun. And the hard count got the comments to jump there. I heard quarterback Doyle giving the hard count from here. <laughs> Puts us at 26, 27 yards of penalty yep. so far against the Comets. Yep. See, LaVille's. See, Kasson's almost given up as many yards as LaVille's gotten on offense. Just about. Not a good start here for the nope. Comets. No, nope, not, not with a team as aggressive as LaVille. Yep. I hear Doyle's under center. They're going to hand the trap play, and he's in the end zone. 24, Evan Betcher. And we're just over halfway through the first. <laughs> Shades of last week. Well, not as bad. <clears throat> so I think last week by this time, Pioneer had what? 21 at least. Yeah, because a we, return. we were uh, we were starting to talk about whether or not it would be possible to go into that 35 yard yep. or 35 point deficit in the first. Yeah. So, but as you said, this Laville team put up a struggle for Pioneer. Yep. So see, I think until about halftime of that game, Pioneer was actually losing to Laville, 14 to seven. And then there was a fumble recovery, Pioneer got a score, and then the momentum Yep, momentum the builds. And, and that's, uh, that's a concern I have mm. because that, that works both directions. Yep. Uh, positive and negative momentum yep. builds. So uh, that's why we talk about how important it is to keep your head up, keep your head in the game. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, you never know when that break is going to happen. You know? Absolutely. You never know when. Absolutely. You pick up an interception. Yep, you yep. And, and running back fumbles the ball. And you, yeah, and we have guys out there in red that have the athleticism mm -hmm. to capitalize on that and make it to an end zone. Yep. But it takes exactly you know it takes the right series of events to yep. happen. Yep. I mean, you have to keep putting yourself in a spot to make that play. And when you take your head out of the game, oh yeah, you're just you just take yourself <laughs> out of that spot every time. I've lost count of the number of times I've said it, and <laughs> the number of times I will say it again is probably uncountable, mm -hmm. but 90% of a sport is mental. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, you know, especially uh, coaching a sport that there's not a ball, there's not, the objective is the finish line. Yep. Uh, and, you know, I have to tell my athletes all the time, you, you have to eliminate that C word from your vocabulary. <laughs> You're not allowed to say it because that's saying I give up. Yep. I'm not going to try to do it because I can't. Yep, yep. And, hmm. and it's the same way in every sport, honestly. Yeah. And that goes beyond sports, too. Oh, Just yeah, in absolutely. Life in general. Absolutely. That's. And that's I, why I think high school sports are so necessary to help these kids overcome the that C word that you were talking about. Oh, yeah. The unfortunate thing is when the parents don't understand that that's the biggest advantage of high school sports. <laughs> uh, I yep. mean, if you can go on and play collegiate or if you've got that skill set that you yep. can go on and play professional, hey, great. But there's there's lessons to be learned for everybody. Yep. And again, Whew. that is that was even further than the last one. I, I think he thought he was kicking another extra point. We had an incident there with referee and a player. There was clearly no play to be made, but Laville here ran over one of Casson's defenseless players. Oh, I don't. They didn't flag him, but I referee gave him gave 75 a warning for it. Be first and ten from the 20. Schaefer and Smith back. They hand it off to Smith, and he's met hard there. 
That's a hard fought three yards yeah. or so. Look like number 24, Evan Betcher. He's a junior. Middle linebacker meeting Smith right in the gift hole. Smith able to get three or four. We've seen what? Only one pass out of the Comets this week? So far. So far. In the last couple weeks, they've been throwing it all over the place. And there they hand the jet sweep to Jesse. Who's met by three Lancers. Three, yeah. Taken down back. The original line of scrimmage just about. So now here you are again, third and long. Last time the Comets went with a short pass to Rock Wolf. I'm still not convinced that was the intended play. Mm -hmm. Here they do a swing pass out to Smith and taken down back at the 20 yard line. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see the punt team. If Kasten's play calling hasn't been very aggressive here tonight, not throwing it deep to Shane Love, like we've seen in the past weeks. It's hard saying what the plan is yeah. without having access to the Lancers film that you know that the coaching staff has, right. has been watching. Maybe uh, it, there might be a very good reason for that. Yeah, maybe Coach Slocum thought LaVille's biggest weakness <clears throat> was running it up the middle, which is what we've seen a lot of so far. Another good punt, and this one's going to be returned. Thomas looking for the stop. Rockwolf taking him down. That's Hickle. Oh, it's yes. 67, not 87. Grant Hickle. That was number 21, Kobe Watts on the return. Again, we have Doyle in the gun. Trips to his left. Watts on his right. He's looking to throw. Pocket breaks down. Breaks a tackle, though. And Doyle can run. And there's the first down. And he's going to step out of bounds. Well, that was a nice block down there by number four, uh, Zarnecki. The kicker? <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's not just a kicker. Yeah. Good moves there by Doyle, though. Mm -hmm. The uh, the offense, the line just wasn't able to hold. Good work there yep. on the Comets defense, yep. getting into that pocket. They well, they also had great pass coverage, or else he would have thrown the ball right. two Absol seconds earlier. Absolutely. So there, it didn't work out in the Comets' favor, but there was a lot of good to be yep. seen in that yep. in that play. We have Doyle in the gun. Watts in motion, and he's going to hand it off to the sweep. Ooh. And it looks like he'll just barely make it back to the line of scrimmage. Tried a little, uh, that was a Watts there with that, he tried a little bunny hop. Now, and I, who was it who caught him? It was either Shane Lobber Smith. <laughs> just kind of folded him up and took him all the way mm -hmm. to the ground. We have Doyle in the gun. They're going to hand it off to Watts and, and Watts. He'll barrel his way into the end zone. And we see Zarnecki dropping back. Missed his last kick. Did he just send that one out to the baseball field? <laughs> he, uh, I'll tell you what, is, is with the way his kickoffs are looking, I, I think he about could. Zarnicki 
to attempt the extra point. And the extra point was good. Yeah, I looked down here on the sideline. I saw Gavin Hickel with his helmet off. Mm -hmm. And Alex, I got to tell you, we, uh, you and I, we were called out on that uh, that Triton game where where we lost track of Gavin when he switched jerseys. Yep. Uh, evidently, our, our camera lady, she she actually had the camera on the Comet sideline when he, he sw when he switched jerseys. <laughs> but of course, we weren't watching the yeah. monitor. So, yeah, we, we heard all about that because they went back and watched the footage, and they're like, the camera was right on him. <laughs> we have some fan tech on us. Oh, yeah. Last night for the Rochester Northfield volleyball game, Great, it was a great match. And I don't know volleyball all that well. There were a couple um, calls that the refs made that we had to lean over and ask Northfield's JV, you know, what call was that? Oh. What does that mean? Well, I, you got to watch my nieces play then. Oh, what's her? Um, the Houstons. Oh, yep, yep. See, um, the oldest one's a junior, right? Yeah. Yeah, she did really well. Man, my sister's getting old. Wait. Oh, sorry, Korea. <laughs> so she's married to Dustin? She was. Was? Was. He was the English teacher when I was here. So He was uh, well-loved by the students. Yep. All right. Here we go. Another LaVille kickoff. 21-0 now in LaVille's favor. And this is uh, Sarnacki. Sarnacki. You know, with LaVille being so close to South Bend. Oh, there's probably a, a lot of. And that's, uh, again, back into the end zone. And, and, of course, with the state, more and more schools keep tending toward the no tuition. You kind of right. wonder, you're 10 minutes outside of South Bend. The South Bend schools have a reputation of not being so great. How many of these guys, you know, kind of jump ship? Right. Which last year LaVille was 1A. Now they're 2A, so their school numbers have gone up. So, I mean. Right. Their team doesn't look any bigger than it was last year, but. Of course, you don't have to be a lot bigger to have twice the bench depth of yep. our comments. So. Well, well. So here we have Schaefer in the gun. Trips to the near side. Looking and for that pass and that's intercepted. That's the kicker tight end. And he's going to be in the end zone. Breaks a tackle attempt by Landon Schaefer. And uh, once again, we had talked about the passing game and if yep. there was maybe well, a reason. I, But that didn't look I, – I don't know. It, it's Once again, we are, what, 20 feet, 25 feet higher in the air? Yep, yep. different we've, angle perspective. We've, right. Uh, we've got a better view of the field. Mm -hmm. So uh, not sure what it looked like to Landon, but up here that didn't look like his, his best route yeah. option. Well, what I couldn't tell was he overthrew number 20, but he underthrew Shane Lobb, so I don't know what the intention did some, was. Did somebody get slowed down on yeah. the route, maybe? Or if at practice he's, you know, you practice at a certain speed and he's used to throwing it at a certain spot right. during practice, you know, where they run in slower, harder, you know. There's a lot of ins and outs to this. It's a very easy to armchair quarterback. <laughs> Two minutes left in the first here. LaVille 28, Comets 0. And I'm looking at Landon's dad sitting out here, and he, he knew as soon as the ball was in the air. I glanced down at him, and he was like, why would he throw that? But young quarterback, you have a lot to learn. You were handed the keys to a shiny new offense. I mean, right? imagine giving an 18-year-old the keys to a Corvette, right? <laughs> You're going to do some crazy things with it, I oh, imagine. Oh, absolutely. You know, it would be kind of cool to have, like, a quarterback view cam or something. To see what he sees. Right, yeah. right. Well, the NFL doesn't even do that, so I don't know. It probably because the cameras aren't quite small enough yet that, that <laughs> you could do that safely. We'd be really pushing the RTC budget for one of those. <laughs> <laughs> 
Steve, if you're watching right now, <laughs> just put us down for two of them. Yeah, we call dibs first. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there's a couple other RTC schools that <laughs> might, might get that technology yep. first. Speaking of Steve, I think I'll send him a message and ask how the other schools are doing in the area. Absolutely, because you've got a uh, uh, we've got Pioneer playing against Addicts. Addicts out of Indy. Um, that was actually uh, front front page sports section news in the Ferris Tribune the other day. So, or maybe today I've lost track. <laughs> I've slept, but it sure doesn't seem like enough. See, and uh, Winamax playing Judson. That'll be a – that's a rivalry matchup, isn't it? I believe so. It's an old rep matchup. Uh, the, big, the big game in the area is, as this kick looks even more impressive. Good gravy. Well, he doesn't live too far away from Notre Dame. Maybe he should send him some game film of him kicking. Yeah. Uh, well, LaVille specifically asked if we were broadcasting this. Of course, I'm sure they have some fans who couldn't make the trip. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys want to grab parts of this stream and send it on to uh, Notre Dame, you might be doing Mr. Zarnecki a, a favor. Yep, yep. He can go play with uh, Mr. Kaiser from there Pioneer. That'd be impressive. Small school football sending right? big school talent. Anyway, the big game in the area is... The Rochester Valley game. That's the battle for the bell as Smith gets shut down. Three, four Lancers there. I think he got a yard out of it. You think he ever looks at the football before he grabs it and says, This is going to hurt? <laughs> the last one hurt. This one's going to hurt too. <laughs> Well, a few weeks ago, we noticed that Judson was picking off the underneath routes. Mm -hmm. Then the week after that, Kasson was throwing deep balls and Triton was picking those off. And then here they've, as we throw a bubble route to Shane Lobb for a hard two. I guess you, Coach Slocum's, every week you're walking into it of what, what is our strength and how do we play to it? Right. We had a great game against West Central, pretty much doing whatever they wanted to do, really. Yeah. And then here in the past few weeks, it's... Well, uh, next week, uh, the the guys are going to North White. Un unfortunately, we're not covering that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's... I, actually, um, I almost wonder if it's not something to do with... Uh, Mr. Chuck Evans told me that... Uh, oh, yeah, and a sack yeah. in the backfield there. That's number 30, Trent Brooks, senior... But uh, Mr. Evans had told me the other day that there's schools now saying that they're not allowing streaming from their facilities. They feel like it's it's hurting their admissions, and and so uh, yeah. to more, try to get more butts yeah. and seats, they're gonna not allow streaming. So I don't mm. know if that's what it is. I but I do know that as this first quarter here winds down, we will not be bringing you next Friday's yep. game against North White live. So uh, Comets fans, I say let's get us. Uh, some fan transportation together and yeah. <laughs> head on up to Monon next week. As uh, this first quarter comes to a close, Lancers with the advantage, 28-0. to zero. We're yep. going to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Kasten TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, and the first quarter you can see there was all Lancers football. Uh, we had mm -hmm. we had uh, Landon Schaefer threw uh, an interception that was run back. Yep. And uh, a couple of bad penalties on Casson's defense, helping Laville walk down the field a little bit. Yeah, uh, I think it was 27 yards or so About of penalties. That. Yep. 
Uh, that said, after that last one, okay, this is <laughs> after that last one. There weren't any more. Well, of course <laughs> not. But um, they uh, they had an offsides. I think it was after the face mask, and yep. then uh, that was and about uh, halfway through. Yeah, something and to do with offsides on the PAT. Um, yeah, I think three of the penalties were in offsides of some sort. Yep. Um, Laville has just really got it dialed in, getting our defense to jump. And yep. Well, to be in the shotgun like Laville is with O'Doy with Doyle, not O'Doyle, Doyle. <laughs> that, well, that's uh, from a movie, yeah. Alex. Anyway, <laughs> with Doyle in the shotgun. Yep, yep. And for him to give that hard count, and he would really be screaming at you as right. a quarterback, yelling at the defense, and that's you see quarterbacks and the pros have a hard time with the snap count from shotgun. So for Laville to be doing it so effectively here, Steve sent me the uh, Rochester Valley game. Rochester's up 14-0 to over Tippy Valley in a, in a game that used to be so intense guys would spend the night in a hospital. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's usually actual law enforcement on that matchup. <laughs> Here, Laville's going to return another kick with Watts. And he's going all the way to the end zone with that. But there's a penalty. I believe it'll be a blocking in the back here against Laville. So that'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So they should end up placed on the 35, is that right? So that flag was down on the 25, it looked like. I see the chains moving in that direction. Spot the ball right at the 40. So Laville's still got excellent starting position here. Oh yeah. As they have a pretty commanding 28 to zero lead here in the second quarter. As Doyle again in the gun. They're gonna read it and he's gonna take off up the middle. They look like Hickle, Shane Lobb, Tim Lee, you name it. I think he was there for the Comets. <laughs> I think that started with uh, Hickel giving mm -hmm. up on the block he had going and wrapping up Doyle's and here, ankles. We've talked about live practice before, and it looks like Laville's going to try out their no huddle, hurry up offense as they ran, run the sweep. Oh, and that number 24 again. Two with or a, three flags. Put Evan Howard down on the ground. Yep, and he's hobbling from it too. Well, Howard just came off just injured came reserve off, yeah. last Friday. Uh, with a sprained ankle, I think it was. But he was hit hard there. That was number 24, I believe. Uh, we've got uh, Sam Duvall kind of slow to get back to his feet, too. wonder if they'll call holding on that one. Is it, to me, it looked like he just slammed him. <laughs> yeah, personal foul, that's probably more adequate. So here we have Duvall heading to the sideline. And that comes down into that just really uncalled for. You look up the scoreboard, you have a four touchdown advantage. Yeah. There's, there's, football is a physical sport, yeah. obviously, but. Oh, we have Sam Smith here speaking to the trainer too. That's a big senior up front, Duvall, and well, one of your best athletes in the whole school is on the sideline. That's. Not what Caston wants. No. Once again, we've only got six helmets yep. on the side to swap in. Here we got Doyle in the gun. First and about 20 as they hand it off to number 21. And well, he just about gets the first down there. That's it's pretty impressive. Colby Watts. Yeah. Pretty impressive given how many yards we're giving up. Yep. 
That said, Watts appeared to trip on his own feet. Yep, and here we go again. Laville, I mean, I guess you look at it as live practice. So they're trying their no huddle. So Doyle, Doyle keeps it. Man, I keep. And, and he's breaking a lot of tackles, wow. making some moves. And he's got the edge. And gets shoved out. Schaefer tracks him down. That was quite the. Well, I don't know if, if you're watching. The, the way they're running that option looks a lot like what was Judson, Judson was doing. Where he would run with the back for a little bit. Yeah, uh, it might be a good timeout here. Gives the give, trainer some time to look at Smith. Yeah. Well, well, they're taking their time out. We're going to do the same thing. You're watching Comets TV on RTC TV4. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Team's finishing up in their huddles. We get ready for the action to pick back up. Just about a minute and a half gone here in this second quarter. Current score, LaVille 28, Comets 0. Uh, and uh, Smith doesn't have his helmet, and he's walking back to the sidelines. I think I think his night's over with. That uh, That's not what the Comets yep. want to hear. And now I know his brother, Mark, was sidelined due to concussions, and he eventually stopped playing, which right. to me is the right decision to make. He, when you he have, was right on that verge yeah. of one more concussion, you're done with all athletics. Yeah. Uh, he begrudgingly came to the cross-country program. He <laughs> was actually a good asset. Yep. And um, this is Watts on in. for the score. The Smiths are just athletic guys. Yep, yep. Um, of course, seeing him over here, we don't know. It looked like it was something with his leg. I thought I saw him lean forward, but from here we don't know. Because last week, uh, you recall that one Panther, was uh, he got hit, lost his helmet, yep. was down for a little bit in the end zone. I actually asked Jordan about that because uh, I mentioned that we were surprised to see him back in a yeah. couple of plays. It was actually he took a helmet to the sternum. Oh, ouch. So him losing his helmet was just kind of incidental. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get the helmet off of him so he can Probably. gas for air. And there's uh, another good extra point by Zarnecki. Kicks that a little bit harder and he'll be in the bean field. That's why you got the junior hires out there chasing <laughs> the footballs. You know, it's been a while since we've had a, a good return from – the Comets return team, so I think they're due for a good one here. So I think the last good one was against Triton, where they broke it off for a few 20, 30 yards. Yeah. I believe it was Shane Lobb. Speaking of Sam Smith's helmet here, I see uh, Sam Shane Lobb carrying around down here. Huh. So I don't know, maybe. Maybe it was equipment issues. Yeah. That bodes better for the comments. Well, she's up here in the stands with it. Maybe not. Well, you know what? We're only about 10 minutes away from halftime. We'll yeah. get this figured out. Yep. Here we have Cernecki getting ready to kick off again. I imagine he's aiming for the goal post again. He's been doing that the last couple times. You reckon he's trying to put it between the uprights from here at the opposite 40? Well, I'll tell you, if he can do that, I, I personally will cut up the film and <laughs> send it to Notre Dame and everywhere else. Just say, where would you like this, <laughs> sir? <laughs> 
Oh yeah, booted that one too. What what were you saying? That's yeah. in getting close. Nope. It looks to me that Smith's night's over with. No helmet. Typically, you only take the helmet away from the player if, right. so he can't sub himself in. So here we have Schaefer in the gun. and He's going to throw it to Rockwolf. Oh, that gets folded up. Yeah, five, six yards, four yards. I saw Caden Webb there as the... Stand in running back for Smith. So you had to move your starting fullback, Gavin Hickel, to the offensive line. Mm -hmm. And now Sam Smith's on the sideline. I guess the real question is, well, what do we do? Here again, Schaefer in the gun. They're gonna throw it to Jesse, and that one's picked, picked off, off by the defensive lineman, number 63, James James Betcher. We have 24 Evan G Betcher and 63. Guessing they're twins. They're both in the same grade. Could be cousins, I guess. I don't know. We got Hickel twins yep. on our line, so you and Pioneers got a set of twins. Something in the water. <laughs> now we have Doyle in the gun, trips right. Watts is next to him in the backfield. They're gonna turn and throw quickly. Oh, and it was he was open, he just doyled through it. Tad bit behind him. Now they're going hurry up again. That's an out route caught by number 24, Evan Betcher. He got the first down and some. And Lavelle's gonna run up to the line again. I think that was Brault on that stop. We got Doyle sc scrambling around. An incomplete pass. Motion trips right. They're going to hand it off to 21 Watts. Is that Hickle there? That's Duvall and Hickle and Shane Love. Well, Watts has been pretty well able to get the yardage he wanted. Mm -hmm. So good on them getting that stopped. So we have about a third and goal from the seven. Neutral zone infraction there by the Comets. That'll be a five yard walk off. Well, should be half, half the distance here within the 10 yard line. So it'll be a third and goal from the... So that puts the Comets at about 30 yards of penalty so far yeah. tonight. Unless at I've, least. Unless I've forgotten one, which is possible. 
Porsche Laville's had a couple of yep, yep. at this point. A couple big ones, too. So they hand it off to 24, and he walks right in. He's Evan Betcher. Fusion here. There's a flag on the play, I think. Yeah. Yep. Ah, fa another face mask against yep. the Comets. Caden Webb, awful close to yep. getting a hand on that extra point kick. So now the question will be, does LaVille come out the second half with their JV squad? So, and it was a question we had posed on air last yep. week, and yep. I got my answer. From Coach Barry. Right, uh, that JV players can now play with the running clock rule. They yep. can now play six quarters yep. a week which then will let them play that second half with a running clock. Yep. Um, I, I'm pretty confident it's de designed to work in conjunction with, um, which again, I think, yeah. I, think that's, I think that's a good call on the part mm -hmm. of the governing board because yep. um, I, I know in basketball too, there's some times when coaches have – have a difficult time figuring out, okay, this person needs to play this many quarters of JV so I can keep yep. them for varsity, or, uh, you know, they're, they're a really solid JV player. I don't know how they're going to be in varsity, so, you know, how do we break that up? And uh, so it looks like that might be a good balance here for mm -hmm. football. Eight thirty now left in the half. Laville forty-two, Comets zero. As the Comets line up to receive the kickoff, and that uh, face mask penalty got put against the uh, oh, kickoff placement. Oh, this might go through the uprights. Oh, he didn't get under the way he has been. I'm not gonna lie, if we're gonna get the touchback on the kickoff every time, I'm kind of rooting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Be something different. Yep. Now the question is, what do you do calling plays for Caston here in this spot? I don't know, I, I don't know if uh, Jordan has her phone on her down there. I, I sent her a text trying to see if I couldn't get some sort of status update, find out what was going on with Sam. Because uh, you know that wasn't news that Coach Slocum or the team wanted. Right. Had a pass completed there. To Shane Lobb for about half a yard maybe, one. <laughs> Tough yards. Yeah, every, every yard that the uh, Comets have picked up tonight has been hard fought. Yep. You know, I was thinking when the sun started going down, it'd start cooling off, and that hasn't happened yet. We're not that fortunate, are we? <laughs> it's still 82 degrees out here. Ah, Sam Smith back hey. in. Have a timeout, Comets? Yep, Comets timeout. Well, we're going to follow their lead. Stay tuned. You're watching... Comets and Lancers football here on Caston TV on RTC TV4.
RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, you take a peek down at the scoreboard and see that tonight has been all LaVille Lancers football yep. so far. 7.42 left in the half. LaVille with a 42-point advantage here at the Comet Crater. Yep. And this is the toughest two-game stretch that Caston's going to have all season with Pioneer last week and LaVille this week. You have well, Really, it's been a tough four-game stretch. We well, had yep. Judson and then Triton and then Pioneer. Yep. And now LaVille. Yep. So. You had a – Triton was in regionals last year. Of course, Pioneer. Yeah. LaVille is excellent. And we have Schaefer getting tripped up after about four yards. Yeah, P Pioneer, they were in a pretty big football game last season, last, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> They're in another big one tonight against 4-8 Indianapolis Addicts coming up to Royal Center. You can, of course, catch that on our sister channel, Pioneer TV. As long as you flip back to this one. Right. If you're watching on your computer, it's really easy. You just open up four tabs. <laughs> See what your internet's really capable of. Schaefer goes to throw. and Wow, number 76 there. Tyler Studden. Swatted yeah. that down. I heard it smack his hand from here. Is Kasson going to punt it? It looks like it. Fourth and. Yeah, fourth and five down there on their own 25. I don't see that you have any choice. Yep. This is Watts. I can't tell who that was. Is that Hickle? Made the play? I didn't see, to be honest. I think that was Grant Hickle. Steve says Pioneers winning 22 to zero with four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Have you seen him on football? That's big news. Yeah. Pine, a 2A school, uh, okay, a 1A school who has moved up to 2A in yep. points. Beating right. a 4A school from inner city Indy limits. You don't think there'd be any football players in Indy, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Short pass to Watts. He'll get 11-12 out of that. Tackle by Gavin Hickle. And it looks like Doyle is motioning for the hurry-up offense here. We have six minutes left in the half. I, I mean, it's live practice, I guess. Why, why practice your – as he throws the bubble route here. Draws. Oh, a big chunk of the cast and defense, and that'll be into the end zone. That's no. an 87. Jimmy Fisher, another senior. Yep. But as I was saying, I mean, I remember in my playing days, we ran no huddle, and the coach would just throw signs out, and anyone on the JV that knew the signs could look over, know what the offense is running, and kind of cheat the play. Right. So you're getting more of a – a live practice here where the defense isn't going to cheat the play because they don't know your plays. So. Right. So that's one way to look at it from LaVille. Another way to look at it is you're up 48 to nothing. What? Right. There's another good point mm -hmm. by Sarnecki. Yeah. 
Steve says Rochester's up 14-0 to at halftime in the battle for the bell. Congratulations to uh, Rochester. Of yep. course, Valley, another RTC school, so yep, yep. keep the fight up, guys. <laughs> I believe that one's in Rochester, so that means the Rochester crew's doing that one. Yeah. Uh, which, well, Would be WROI -R 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 yeah. is, is handling the uh, commentary. And I don't know, does... Uh, I don't know if Musselman does football commentary or if he's just basketball for ROI. You got me. Halfway through the second here. This has been a long six minutes of football. Yeah. Alex. Zarnecki backing up for this kick. Sorry, we had a minor yeah. um, had our own little track <laughs> in booth entertainment. Yeah. So here we have Duvall running onto the field. I don't think he um, is in the original lineup for kick return, but with Shane Law being out. Well, and with that leg that Zarnecki's got on him. Hey, this one will be in play. This is Rockwell for turning it. I think that's the first kick that yep. stayed in play so far this evening. Yep. And I think we still ended up at about the yep. 20. Yep. Well, you see down on the sideline that Smith and Shane Lumber are standing over there. There's two of your best returners on the sideline. I wonder, uh, wonder if we're just switching things up, seeing, seeing if something mm -hmm. will stick. Yep. Well, Shane Lom's not going out there for the offensive huddle. Neither is Smith. Maybe. You need a coach's headset. That's yeah, what no we kidding. need. Maybe we can catch. Uh, Zach Slocum in passing here and ask him what's. Yeah, it looks like the play stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Is that Caden? I think so there. Landon Schaefer running the sideline. Well, I think we're having a. Uh, Equipment problems with Shane Lobb's helmet. You see uh, Coach Oric over here digging into the equipment box. There's Brother Kane handing him the helmet. Yeah, I think it's been a lot of years since they let you play without a helmet. Yeah, yep. Schaefer's going to throw again, and this one's complete. Completed to number, number nine, Tim number, Lee. Yep. Gets taken down at about the 35-yard line a for a first in. down. Flag looked like it was right at the line of tackle. Yep. See, is this going to be a face mask? Hit to the head. Oh, we'll take the yards we can get. Yep, yep, yep. You have to. Is that a 15 yard penalty? Yep. I believe it's a personal foul, technically. Now in high school football, there is no targeting penalty, but a hit to the head. 
here again. Smith's on the sideline. Shaver going to keep this. Oh, that's Watts. Breaks the tackle, and he might get a yard out of that. That was a hard yep, fought yard. Yep. I don't know who was trying to block Watts, but Watts ran just about right through him. Well, we've seen Watts on a lot of carry yep, plays yep. for the LaVille offense. Yep. So that, that's not a guy that you can let go. Yep. We spoke in passing. I think we were at commercial break, and I was mentioning about how uh, hard-hitting LaVille is, and they're, they're a pretty tough they're group of kids. They're a very physical team. They're about... I'd say they're probably more physical than Judson was. Another pass? <laughs> you can hear that way up here. Yeah. These guys will put the shoulder in you and keep driving. What's well, a sternum? You don't need a sternum. Yeah. <laughs> Ball in LaVille territory. Is this the first time this evening? Might be the second. Might be the second. Comets have just had a rough evening here yep. tonight. 313 or 319 left in the half. Mm -hmm. 49 to 0. Comets looking to make a drive and get on the scoreboard before the half. And there's Shane Lobb. Took two Lancers to take him down. Of course, uh, had I think that was number 72 there around around Shane Lobb's mm -hmm. ankles. 72 and, uh, and 24. And uh, Shane Lobb's had problems with his knees nearly as long as I can remember. He's uh, run for me in track yep. since junior high, and he's just always struggled with uh, knee issues. Might have something to do with being a, a human skyscraper. <laughs> Here we're going for it on fourth down. Trips left. Schaefer in the gun, and he's going to look to his left. Manages to complete it, and it's not going to quite be enough nope. for that first down. Is that Brolt on the reception, number two? Uh, yes. It's a nice-looking pass. It was only about a yard short. Yep. So LaVille will take over. I can only imagine they're going to keep practicing their hurry-up offense. And Well, I don't want to say we'll see them in the end zone here in a few plays, but you never know. Might be, might be seeing Kasten in the end zone. You never can tell. I mean, it's it's not bad field position, and I think that's probably why they tried to go for the conversion yep. there. Yep. Uh, was they were already in Laville territory. Yep. And they've had a couple of punts, not even get to the 40-yard line. So, why not go for it? Yep. Now here, Watts is running around the edge. Oh, and Schaefer does an excellent job of tracking him down. Gets a hold of him and sits down, kind of flips him over. Speaking of those hard-fought two yards. Yeah. It's a lot of running laterally well, for two yards. You know, here's my question, just thinking out loud. Maybe they've got uh, Sam Smith on the sideline so that may maybe, the, uh, maybe Coach Slocum was feeling like the line was trying to depend too much on one player. Mm. Again, just conjecture yeah. there. Number 24, he's broken free. There's the first down. Tackle by Greg Brault. It's 24, that's Evan Betcher. Tell you, LaVille's got a slug of running backs and they're all in the 20s, it seems like, so it's hard to remember. Uh, yeah. Clock's gonna keep running, a minute 30 left here in the half. Well, and, you know, looking again, a lot of these names are names I feel like I really remember last year from basketball season. Mm -hmm. And uh, just really athletic guys, yep. as I recall. There's the old draw play to Betcher. Gets maybe one. Back to the line of scrimmage. He gets one. Got one on that. Gavin Hickel with that stop. Under a minute left here. And LaVille going back to a huddle. They seem pretty content with letting the clock run. 
49 point advantage. Why risk an injury? Yeah. Why risk an interception? And but if you can gone. go, wow, that's some, some legs. Yep. That's number 33, freshman Paul DeWitt. I remember him from track season last year. He was an eighth grader. I think he ran 100 in 11 and a half seconds as an eighth grader. I think that's what we just saw. Yeah. That was that was some wheels. Yep. Got to feel good to be a freshman and put six mm -hmm. on the board. Run right through the middle of the defense. And, and then just leave them in a wake of dust. Yep. And then Zarnecki aiming for the bean field again. <laughs> yeah, stopped about four yards short of the bean field. <laughs> Twenty five point eight on the play clock here mm -hmm. as we get ready to go into halftime. And standing here in the doorway, it's a lot cooler than <laughs> might need to get a box fan or something set up. I don't know. Does Kasson just run a dive play and take it into halftime, or you try hey. to throw a couple and see They're only sticks? eight tenths of a second over their play clock. I yeah. mean. I don't know. I mean. I mean, I'm not convinced either way. Here, Cernecki is going to, well, I wonder if he'll keep this one in, in play or is he going to? Oh, got similar field position on all of it, so, mm -hmm. or maybe he's going to try to send it up to uh, Stark County. I think you're right. Hey, he's getting closer to the goalpost. <laughs> I can't imagine having a kick like that. Mm. As a junior in high school. Well, here's Kasten lining up. They can't see on the sideline very well who's in and who's out. Looks like they're just going to take a knee and get us into halftime. Yep, that's what they're doing. All right. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, going into halftime, it's the LaVille Lancers 56, casting comments zero. Stay tuned. As we come back here in about 15 minutes or so, we'll have second half action. We're going to pay homage to uh, promotional consideration of our sponsors. Get yourself something to drink, pop you some popcorn, and come back here to Comets TV on RTC TV4. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. 
They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got uh, just under three minutes as the guys have their second half stretch. Uh, if you're just joining us, glance down at the scoreboard. You see we will have a running clock second half. And yep. Alex, bad news for Comets fans. Uh, Sam Smith got his bell rung, Did evidently. He? That's what I was thinking. So, uh, yeah, they said that he was he's just out of it. And uh, though I see him out there warming up yep. with the team, I don't know. Hey, he doesn't look like he's warming up too hard, though. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Well, you keep him out there for emotional support for your teammates, but you obviously can't play him protocol and yeah. all. Did you find that from Jordan? No, I actually uh, I was going down after a drink and, uh, you know, talking on air can dry you out a little bit. <laughs> and uh, saw the coaching staff down there and just mm. kind of asked. I, I mentioned, I said, well, I was – going to be honest we were a little worried when we saw when we saw Sam on the sideline yep. with his helmet off yep. and they kind of shook their head said no nah, he's 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 done he's kind of in outer space right now yep. so I don't know though we we just had 15 minutes uh I'm not sure after they've been baselined uh oop, one second uh do we have an update on the bell game <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, <laughs> Rochester still up at halftime on that bell game. Yep. Um, anyway, uh, you know, I don't. I know baselining uh, concussion protocol is usually what takes the longest, so they may have had time to run them against baseline. Yep. It's hard saying. Um, we'll just have to start. We'll have to see how the second half starts playing out. Yep. I imagine we'll see uh, the JV out here for Laville. We did it versus Pioneer last week. Yeah, once again, smart move by the governing body. Powers yes. that be. Uh, or else we'd have to see their varsity for this whole third quarter. And only bad things are going to happen out of that. They're still going to let Cernecki kick it off. But if he's putting it into the end zone. These lights have attracted quite the swarm of bugs, hasn't it? There we go. Here we have Cernecki getting ready to kick off. He'll put that one into the end zone, too. What a boot. Well, I see five out there on the field. Yeah, I see. Maybe he passed protocol over halftime. Blair here is uh, adjusting the lights. We turned them on and... <laughs> The swarm came after us real quick. How about I just make sure that tube doesn't drop on our head? <laughs> Be honest, Alex, I was less concerned with the bugs and more concerned with the glare off the windows in the press box. <laughs> that also makes it difficult. Of course, the clock is running. Smith and Schaefer in the gun. And Schaefer throws complete to Tim Lee. I don't know. I don't think Laville put their JV in. 21 4, 23. Yeah. They're all still out there. Well, obviously, each coach has to decide what he wants yep. to do. Maybe you uh, tell the guys they need the, the practice, the reps. We have somebody line up off sides? It looks like it. Oh 
Yeah, offsides there on LaVille. I'll tell you, it brings back the old days of hearing his, their coach yell at them. <laughs> old Pat, you over here used to yell at me all the time. <laughs> so here we have Schaefer in the gun, Smith right behind him. They're going to run the option play with Schaefer. And it's like you put a yard or two on that. Yep. Third and two, is that what we're at now? Yep. You know, last week, we didn't hear the hits like we're hearing LaVille hit them. Yeah. yeah I think we, we talked about that last week mm -hmm. that uh, – well, that Pioneer game was really an overall very clean game. Yep. Here now, Kasson's going to run the sweep. Oh, and he gets... Oh, that was a violent throw there by number 75. Yeah, the, the must be a wrestler. Colin Allen. You got the first down. Got the first down out of it. That's that's the important thing. And again, the clock's going to keep running as we're down to what? Eight, eight minutes already? 8.20 right now. Well, that first half seemed to drag on. Oh, that it was the second quarter. Yeah, it took forever. Well, we had, I think, four quarters worth of football in that second quarter. Spin move there by Schaefer as he gets stood back up. Got about three. Now we're seeing some substitution out of here from LaVille, putting in some of the younger guys. See Brault over on the sideline staying warm. There's another out route to Tim Lee. That'll be close. Got about another four yards. Third that was, and three. That was a clean connection right on yep. the sideline, too. Throwing those quick underneath routes. Lavelle, you notice, is running a what's referred to as a cover two defense, which is the corners stay down in the flats. There are two high safeties cover deep. So when the corner sees his wide receiver run up the field, he's going to run with him. And then Lee's going to cut underneath. And here's the option play. Looks like we've got stopped about a half a yard short of first down. Obviously, go for it. Yep. Wonder if they try to just run Landon up the middle and like the old wedge play. They're gonna throw a swing pass to Smith. Ooh, Smith got taken down right back. I don't the line think of scrimmage. he got it. He needed to get it to the 40 at least. Ah, yeah. They're signaling Laville ball. Now I wonder what LaVille does here on offense. I see Doyle all over there getting a play and coming in. I wonder if they practice that no huddle again or if they're going to be content with letting the clock run. So we're now down to five minutes here, five and a half. We have Doyle in the gun. They hand it off to 33 and he bounces it and he can run. 
Is that that freshman? Yep. He makes a move. And he's still Breaks in. Breaks a tackle, eh? and he's – that's his second touchdown tonight. I think he's got two carries for two touchdowns. Now we have injured Comet over there. That's not a good sign. Mm, of course, that'll stop the clock. Yep, one of the couple of things that'll cause a clock stoppage here on the running clock. Well, while they get this all sorted out, we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV4. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi Fi. Here's why Wi Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data, which can slow you down. Luckily, Small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service. Backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider, working hard to be a good neighbor. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We do have the Comet who was down and injured up and moving under his own power. I'm not sure if that's Grant Hickel or Jesse Rockwolf. I can't tell if that's a 67 or, or an 87. Kind of looks like it might be Jesse. Steve just sent me the update. The Bell game in Rochester is tied 14 to 14. Oh, Tippy wow. Bell has come back. One minute left in the third quarter. We might be streaming that game when this one gets over with. <laughs> that's a, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a uh, nail chomper yeah. there. Well, if they're at a minute left in the third and we're at. 426. But they're not having a running clock. Right. And of course, when you're in a close game and each team's got three timeouts, you might as well oh, sit yeah. back, grab some popcorn, and. <laughs> hey guys, update on the Bell game. It's now tied up 14 off. Here it looks like Caston used their uh, injury timeout to its fullest. As they get set up here for the return. Okay. 
They moved uh, 54, Gavin Hickel back to return. Well, there's only been one return tonight. Yeah. And this isn't one of them. Oh. Yeah, yep. Mr. Zarnecki, that is a leg, sir. <laughs> And the clock is going to run. Here we're at four minutes. Score is 63-0. Yep. LaVille advantage. So here we got Schaefer in the gun. Smith next to him, trips right. Takes some time in the pocket, throws a pass. To Shane Lobb, but. Nearly intercepted, he overthrew Shane Lobb. 21, Colby Watts. We've seen him make some moves with that football tonight. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think he has put at least 12 of those 63 points up. Uh, of course, we know, once again, freshman number 33. Yep. Uh, the, the DeWitt, yep. Paul DeWitt has put two touchdowns up for the Lancers. Yep. Quarterback O'Doyle has another couple, and uh, one of these defenders has an interception return. Smith looks to his right, and he's going to again throw that out route to Tim Lee. And again, you hear the pads popping all the way up here. That was completed to Brault, not Brault. Lee. Though I think Lee was over on that side, so. So it looks like we're at third and six or so. Yep. Two minutes now here on the clock. Smith looks for Shane Lobb, and it's just some all-around miscommunication there. It's Schaefer was throwing it to Shane Lobb, and Shane Lobb wasn't looking for the ball. Yeah, it looks like we're keeping the offense on. I guess the question is, you know, why not? You've already punted it five, six, seven, eight times tonight. Well, that's true. You've practiced it a pun enough tonight. Why not try to just run another play? Complete to Shane Lobb at the 30. That's that might close. be enough. They're moving them. Chains are moving. That was the right call. Yep. I still say that the uh, the three ball cheer from the cheerleaders doesn't work as well for the first down. <laughs> they need to count it down from three. Yeah. They count it up to three for the three ball. There you go. Count it down from three for the first down. Might have to talk to Ellen King about that. Oh, there's a that. fumble. There's. Say like Schaefer may have covered it up. So that's the first one we've seen tonight. Yeah. Loss of about four or five. Now we see some more rotation here. 19 seconds left now in the quarter. It's amazing the difference that running clock yeah, makes. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go! Oof. Again, you can just... Hear them hitting you. That was that was a hard fought two yards yeah. there as the third quarter comes to a close.
So, as the third quarter closes out, 12 more minutes of play. LaVille Lancers 63, Cast and Comet 0. Now then, do the Lancers bring out their JV now for the fourth quarter? I'd like to think yes, but I thought they'd be out here after halftime. I, I did too, with the allowance of six quarters of play, but we don't know what their JV schedule looks like right. tomorrow. You know, they may be have they may have a tough JV opponent tomorrow yeah. and for that reason they're saving them. Yep. Although it does look like we have some clean fresh white jerseys running onto the field. Is that a cast? Yes it is. You can play with a cast? Yep. Today I learned. <laughs> well, why don't we have Kane Shane Love playing? Yeah, no kidding. Suit him up, time to get out there. Well, I, I, I saw those x rays. That was a. Uh, Pretty rough. Oh, and I'm sure that, that just felt fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was. They think that it was a hairline fracture during that West Central game. Mm -hmm. Like, got stepped on. And he was doing pull-ups in the weight room, and it just popped. Ouch. <laughs> the, the other guys that were in the weight room with him said it was, it was audible to everybody. Yeah. Mm. No, thank you. Yeah. There's uh, Rockwolf back out there. And Smith Sam runs. with the carry gets about seven yards on that. So much for the rung bell. Must have passed that concussion protocol. Maybe he just needed to set out for a little bit. Could well be. I'll tell you what, those Smith boys don't have a quit in them. Yeah. <clears throat> so we got fourth and four, fourth and five. Kasten got it the last time. He's looking to Shane Love. No, he's looking to. Broken tackle yeah. there. Gets caught up and is going to be stopped just short of that first down. Is that Lee or Brault? I didn't see who. I think that was Brault. Number two over there. Mm -hmm. He's kind of walking like a guy who just got hit yep. pretty hard. <laughs> Well done for that uh, Lancers mm -hmm. JV squad. Yep. I think so. Oh, boy. Now here's LaVille taking over. With number four is their quarterback now. And off to number 25, he's got the first down. Right. Noah. Richard. Richard. Rickert. Rickert. Lancer fans, we're doing good to get our own guys' names right, so <laughs> apologize for any butchering we do of these names here this evening. Lancers now at the Comets 28. I think it's interesting that number four is the backup quarterback. The kicker, the tight end. The <laughs> I'd like to see him throw the football, but I don't know if we're going to get that this late in the nine minutes left in the game. As somebody who's not athletically inclined, I find that to be very unfair that one person have that much athletic prowess. <laughs> All right, number 25 on that carry gets run out yep. of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Maybe it was 24. Splitting hairs about this. <laughs> well, I figure if I don't, somebody's going to text me. <laughs> Zimmerman, that was the 24. Are you blind? Maybe. Getting old. <laughs> it's way on the other side of the field. Mm-hmm. 8.45 left here in the game. It's 
Cernecki, their quarterback. So he's going to hand it off to 25 again. Look. He breaks the tackle and makes it about third and two. Here we go, Cernecki at quarterback. Hands 25 again. And this time they tackle him for a loss. Looks like about fourth and five here on the Comets 23. Wish they'd let Cernecki the try a field goal here. You think he can make it from this far? It'd be close, I don't know. He's got the power. The question is, does he have the accuracy from this distance? That's a good question. And can he, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, well, we're not gonna find out, they're gonna go for it. They hit a quick, quick hand off to 25. And, and there's the first down. Here, uh, Steve gives me an update. Rochester fumbled on the goal line. Oh. Tippy Valley drove it 99 yards for the go ahead touchdown. Five minutes left, 21 14. Wow. I don't know if you want to pass that on down to the guys and I'll man the post. <laughs> Let's see, if we have a couple of substitutions. Valley pushed it through for 99 yards. So it's now 24 4, 21 14. Imagine there was some noise from the Valley uh, oh, stands yeah. on I that one. Wish I could see what their stadium looks like right now with that heated game. It's again, they like handed it off there to 24 off the outside. Is that Caden Webb on that tackle will look like? That or Schaefer. Smith maybe. I think at this point, I mean, you're hearing a lot of silence, but what is there to, you know? <laughs> They're gonna hand it off to 25 coming around the right side this time. He'll maybe get two. And Smith, that looked like a wrestling move. Yeah, maybe he should be a wrestler this fall, this winter. <laughs> oh, don't let Coach Davis hear you say that. <laughs> You'll see a wrestler. <laughs> We got Cernecki in the gun. Really love to see if he can throw the ball. I'm gonna hand it off to 25 on the same play. And he tripped over his own feet yeah. on that one, I think. We're gonna see a punt. Oh nope. Cernecki got the play. He's coming back. As we're now at four and a half minutes. And Cernecki kept it there. Is that Hickle? I heard of that's Gavin. The cast will take over here. Of course, we'd love to see him score here in the last. Right, just under four minutes left in the game. Yep. <laughs> 
Let's see here. We got Schaefer in the gun. Jet motion. And then we have a counter play as Rockwolf runs around the outside. And Laville played this very well. That was a lot of lateral motion yep. for eight yards, seven yards. Schaefer in the gun. So he looks to Shane Lobb, who makes the catch. Man, that's good for a first down. First down. Ball's on the 34. 233 left here. The Comets really, yep. they need to be have running a hurry up offense, yeah, I feel yep. like. They need to speed it up a little bit. Schaefer in the gun. He's going to look to Shane Lobb. He throws it to Rock Wolf, who fumbles the football. And covered up know. by the Lancers, it looked like. Yep. Yeah, that'll be Lancer football. <sighs> Not nah, what happened right there in front of Coach Slocum, too. Yep. He's, he's, he's not happy about that. I wouldn't blame him if he wouldn't want to come up here. and. Uh, yeah, this is... This has been a rough game. Yeah. I'll tell you what, these uh, JV Lancers are doing their team proud. Yeah. So now we got JV Lancers here in the huddle. Cernecki here getting ready to get the snap. I'd be surprised if it's 25 to the left side. I don't think that happened. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> and oh, and he might have a hole. Caden Webb missing that tackle. Yep. That's Gets a good five, six, seven yards. Wait, maybe that wasn't Webb with that missed tackle because I think it was Webb who ran him out. Or Caden might have been quick enough to get up there and go ahead and get him out. Yeah, yep. 45 seconds left here in the game. Run one more play and then. Yep, they're just going to kneel the ball. That'll do it for us. Absolutely. Well, rough loss here for the Comets tonight. LaVille Lancer 63, mm -hmm. cast and Comets 0. Uh, we're going to take this opportunity to thank our promotional sponsors. And uh, we'll be back after these words on cast and TV on RTC TV4. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation. And we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. 
Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, got Coach Tony Slocum here on the other headset. At the conclusion of this really rough 63-0 uh, loss to the LaVille Lancers. Coach, uh, what, what happened down there? Well, number one, LaVille's a very good football team. And uh, when you play a team as good as them, I, I actually had picked them to win the conference. Uh, but Pioneer's still a bully on the block, but they're still darn good here at LaVille. And uh, we didn't play well enough. That's just what it comes down to. This is the first time all year uh, where the other team just physically manhandled us. We uh, got beat up pretty good in the game. Uh, we were down three, four, uh, five players at one point. Uh, it just wasn't a good night for us. I mean, we're still young, uh, but we were in position to make plays, and we did not make the plays uh, for whatever reason. So uh, we're going back to the drawing board again. Uh, I appreciate all the people who came out and supported the comments tonight, and I apologize we didn't give them more to cheer about. Well, sir, we thank you so much for you and the coaching staff's effort. And uh, I told our viewers, un unfortunately, uh, we won't be traveling with you to North White next weekend. So uh, good luck in Monon next week, and a uh, great week of practice to you and the guys. Well, we appreciate you covering the comments. Too bad you're going to miss our win next week. Well, we're looking forward to hearing about it, though, sir. All right. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Blair Zimmerman. On the other headset was Alex Korn, the yep. guy who knows the game. <laughs> and uh, we had Autumn Garling doing a great job swinging the camera around for us. Uh, we thank you for joining us. And until next time, this is Casting TV on RTC TV4.